So just a couple days back, I moved my whole family out to the island of Phuket, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what it's like moving out to Phuket with four specific tips at the end. Let's get into the vlog, guys. Yep, that just happened. We're leaving Bangkok. We're heading out to Phuket. What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video today. It's a big video. Now today is April 17th, 2021, and we are moving to, where are we moving to? We're moving to Phuket! <laughs> There's been another COVID outbreak out here in Thailand. Specifically, the main primary source of this outbreak is in Bangkok. The numbers have been rising rapidly. We felt that it's safest to head down south to Phuket. I have actually multiple projects in May and June in Phuket, and we don't want to jeopardize due to a lockdown where we're trapped in Bangkok, we can't head south. So we booked an Airbnb for the next 30 days starting today. Again, we're going to be as safe as we can, and I do know Phuket is hoping to open up for tourism in July. The goal is to be out there till then. Again, James and I are running a special little trip. The goal is out in July if it's safe to travel and Phuket has been pretty safe. Majority of the population out there, I believe, has the vaccine. So I'm super stoked. We're about 10 minutes away from Sawanapun and uh, let's be safe when we get there. Thank you. Ready me for this, sweetie? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So we just checked in, and one of my concerns is swab tests, which I absolutely hate. We haven't had to do that yet. Cross my fingers, it doesn't happen. All right guys, so we made it to our gate right behind me. Even Bangkok being a red zone, there was no swab test, no COVID test, nothing like that heading to Phuket. However, that can change very soon. That's why we're leaving. And uh, yeah, we're about to check in. Alright you guys, so the flight is about only 20% full, it's pretty empty around me. An hour and about 15 out to Phuket. You guys ready for this? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ali looks, Ali looks like he's ready too. He's the most ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, it's official. Our nanny also is with us. We made it to Phuket, we're officially in Phuket. Right, Vidi? Yeah! <laughs> and the lady with the hazmat suit on is right behind me. Can't stop thinking about that. This is such a big move. We literally felt like we're moving completely because I haven't booked anything for 30 full days and we still have one, two, three months after that. So guys, we found our car. <laughs> literally door to door service. This is the airport. So we searched on Facebook. We found places you can rent a car directly in Phuket. This car right here, it's, I think it's a Yaris. 9,000 Thai baht for the full month. So that's about 300 American dollars for 30 days. And we got about a 35 minute ride to Mai Cow Beach. One of my favorite spots in Phuket and you guys will see why. All right guys, so I just parked the car. It took about 20 minutes to get here from the airport, but we made it out to Mai Cow Beach. I love this area in Phuket. One of my favorite areas in Phuket to stay at. It's very low key. The place is so beautiful. I dropped off Rachel, Ali, Midi, and the nanny at the front, and this is gonna be our home for the next 30 days. I'm really excited to show you guys. Oh my goodness. What do you think, Midi? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Let's just say it's a little bit different than Bangkok. Just a little bit. Oh my god, who chose this place? Who chose this place? Say it, say it. Fine, you did. <laughs> she found the Airbnb. This is so beautiful. There's six pools here. One of them is like right over here. It looks like a lily pond, but it's a swimming pool. Oh, this is the lily pond? Okay, this is the lily pond. The, the pool is right over, right over there. <laughs> but one of the reasons why I booked this, I know Meaty loves swimming, I love swimming. They have six pools here, and my cow is right on the beach. At least this property is right on the beach. Oh, Meaty! It feels just nice. <laughs> yes! Let's, let's get to our room. We, the person with our bags is all the way up there. <laughs> and they got beds! I'm like a little kid at a candy shop. 30 days here. I can do it. This is insane. There's another pool right here that like wraps all the way there. There's another pool right over here. That's the one we just passed. 
What do you think, Meaty? Awesome! <laughs> I can't wait! That's like the benefit of an Airbnb. Like, we really did some searches. We found a, a place in Phuket right now. Uh, due to the situation, a lot of Airbnbs are discounted. So almost all of them, there's a discounted rate, especially if you rent them out for a full month. All right, guys, so we made it to our two-bedroom property out here in Mai Cow Beach. This place is beautiful. Rachel did pick it out. Check this out. So Meaty has his own beautiful room in there. He also has his bathroom. We got a little living area, which is for dinners, obviously. A whole kitchen. That's the point of booking an Airbnb. Nice little space with a balcony. This is our master bedroom for the next 30 days. This is super beautiful with a bathroom with a giant tub, stand-up shower. This place is so nice and I'm so comfortable to make this home for the next 30 days. So I wanted to jump on the bed and test it out, but unfortunately we are super, super dirty and we actually have a lot of stuff to do today. So we wanna get some groceries at least for the next one to two weeks out here. So we're gonna take you along, get some groceries, show you guys around. We're gonna talk a little bit about why we booked this property and the decision making process behind moving to Phuket and what we were looking for, especially having a family. So we're gonna get out of here, drive probably about 35 minutes to a little shopping. All right guys, so about a 35 minute drive south of My Cow Beach. We made it to Boat Avenue. This is, I think, Laguna, specifically Villa Mart, which is right behind me. If you guys are out in Phuket and you guys need a grocery store, I believe Villa Mart has everything. That's what I heard. Rachel, Meaty, and the nanny are walking around. We're gonna crush the Mexican food and then we're gonna do a little grocery shopping at Villa Mart. That's her. Hi. Phuket, Phuket. Phuket, not sponsored. Phuket, huh? <laughs> Thank you. You're Have welcome. Have a good day in Phuket, right? All right, this is the list. Let's go, Villa Mart. All right, so one thing about Villa Mart, they don't allow you to film at all, so don't even come here. Although, they have everything we needed. Whew. 35 minutes back to the condo. We'll catch you guys hopefully for sunset. All right, go, 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 go. We're gonna try to make it. We're gonna try our best to make it. So when you guys come out to my cow beach, I haven't showed you this yet. This is one of the reasons why we booked this place. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right though. Oh my goodness! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Holy smoke! This is so beautiful. I just oh. <laughs> family's behind me. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Guys, this is the reason why we booked this place specifically on Maikau Beach. My Cow Beach. Look at this. Phuket's known for incredible sunsets. And when we discovered My Cow Beach just about eight, nine months ago, we realized how peaceful, how quiet it is. Right behind me on this side, there is no one, no one on that way. A world famous Phuket sunset. You guys made it! Woo! You wanna go swim in the ocean? Yeah. Go for it. Yes. Yeah, give us your t-shirt. Let us know how the water is. <laughs> take uh, your mask take off. Yeah, I'll hold it for you. Make sure you don't have anything in your pocket. What do you think, babe? Oh, so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at Ali's like, wow. Oh my goodness. So guys, we're gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna cut it a little shorter with a world-class Phuket sunset right over here. And we're gonna give you guys some tips if you plan on moving out to Phuket in 2021, especially if you have a family. So number one. Accessibility to healthcare. So the province of Phuket has a main hospital. I was thinking about going to Krabi or Koh Lanta, staying there for 30 days, but because we have kids, we were looking for accessibility to a bigger hospital, healthcare in general, 
Phuket has that, so that's the one reason why we picked Phuket. The number two reason to think about if you come into Phuket is a good area. Now, the reason why we picked Mai Cao, we were actually in Mai Cao before, about eight, nine months ago. It's a lot quieter than most of the areas of Patong, most of the popular areas out in Phuket, and pretty much there's five-star hotels all throughout the area, I think five or six of them on Mai Cao. And you're right on the beach. So all the resorts, majority of the resorts are beachfront, I believe. And the third one is accessibility to food, grocery stores, you name it. Grab bike, grab food delivers here, food panda delivers here. Specifically, Ban Mai Cao, the condo right behind me, I just pointed it at it two times, has a shuttle every 30 minutes that takes you to Turtle Village. So you can get directly to restaurants, grocery stores, super, super easy. Now number four is the price. The price you want to consider coming out to Phuket. Phuket is a little bit more expensive than most parts of Thailand. However, you can find many, many different prices, especially on Airbnb if you guys are looking for long-term rentals, you can say. So our place was 1,457 American dollars for 30 days. And as I mentioned before, a lot of places are giving you guys discounts due to, unfortunately, the situation that's been going around, the pandemic. And number five is transportation. So when you guys are coming out here, we booked a car rental, which you guys can book directly at the airport. However, I'm gonna have Rachel give you a little tip. So the way to find cheaper cars is to involve yourself in local Facebook community groups, you know? You sort of like post what you need within your budget range, and then someone is going to propose what you're looking for within the budget that you have. Facebook is a great advice. So if we were to book a car through the airport, we're gonna probably spend, I think, around five, 600 or more for the full month. We spent 9,000 baht, that's 300 American dollars, to have a car for the entire month. And those are our tips if you guys are coming out to Phuket. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Again, it was a little bit more raw, kind of escaping the city in Bangkok. However, you guys are gonna be treated to a Phuket island hopping series, part four or five, I think, on my channel. Tons of videos out in Phuket, tons of island videos out over the next couple months. So if there's any specific things that you guys wanna see out in Phuket or in the south of Thailand, comment down below and welcome to my channel. If you guys are brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell and I'll also catch you guys in the next, most likely Phuket video. Thank you guys so much for watching and you'll be seeing more of these sunsets on my channel.